Hi guys, welcome back to ABLC Studio. This is another in-depth tutorial for absolute beginners, which means you don't need to know anything about crochet to start this project. But you do need the right tools and materials, and we're gonna get into that right after I show you some samples. So the pattern is highly customizable. You can make the skirt in any size or length you like. The previous one you saw was a low-waisted mini skirt, and this one is a high-waisted one. And of course you can make it into a long skirt. So what you need to do is to just visualize what you want and the tutorial will show you how to make it. Nevertheless, I would definitely recommend beginners to start with the short or mini skirt first because it is just much more forgiving than the long one. For this project, I recommend using Aran yarn, medium weight, with the 4.5mm crochet hook. The amount of yarn you'll need depends on the size and the length of the skirt. And since this is a made-to-measure pattern, it is highly customizable. You can make the skirt in any size you like. It's very hard for me to tell you how much yarn you need to buy. But in case you need some advice and suggestion, please find them down in the description. This ball of yarn is around 300 meters and it is more than enough for a size small mini skirt. Then we need some stitch markers, yarn needle, scissors, and measuring tape. For the drawstring, I would use a different kind of yarn. This is optional, you don't need to have a different yarn with different color for the drawstring. You can use one same yarn for everything. We're gonna start with a chain foundation and this foundation will determine the length of the skirt. The thing is that when we crochet into the chain, the stitches will slightly pick up the length of the foundation. So we would like the foundation to be a little longer than the actual measurement. I will show you how to measure it later when we finish the chain, okay? To make chain, first we need a slip knot. You're gonna hold the yarn like this, okay? And then with the hook, you're gonna put it over this yarn, like so, and then twist to make a loop like that. And then you wanna hold on the loop, like so. And then with this yarn, you're gonna yarn over and bring that yarn over loop through the loop that you are holding, like so. And then tie the knot, and that is the slip knot, okay? To adjust the size of this slip knot, you can just pull on the working yarn, like so. One thing to keep in mind is that for this pattern, we don't want the chain loops to be too tight. So keep the loops on the hook a little bigger than the size of the hook. Just a little bit bigger and that's that would be enough. And to make chain, you simply yarn over like so and bring that yarn over loop through the loop on the hook. And that is the very first chain. Now again, Make sure that the loop is not too tight, like so. Make it just slightly bigger than the size of the hook. And then yarn over, pull through. That's the second chain. And then again, yarn over, pull through. Okay, something like this would be too tight. And that's not what we want. So just keep the loops on the hook slightly bigger, like so, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, okay? And then we keep repeat the same thing until the chain is long enough. Now to measure the chain, you would want to lay the chain freely like this, okay? Don't put any pressure on it because the chain is flexible and if you put pressure on it, it will stretch and that will give you the wrong measurement, okay? So just keep it um, straight, laying on the table by itself. So I would like my skirt to be 10 and a half inches. That's why I made the chain about 11 inches. That's what you can do. So for instance, if you want the skirt to be 12 inches, you can make the chain over 12 and a half inches and so on, right? What we're gonna do next is to take this stitch marker and mark two thirds of the chain from the hook. And we can do this by eye 
this doesn't have to be precise so you don't have to count the number of chains all right you can simply uh, visualize the chain into three equal parts and just mark two parts so like this and then you can check okay so this part of the chain would be the ruffle of the skirt right feel free to adjust it on your own for the first row we're gonna start half double crochet into the second chain first chain and this is the second chain and you see the chain kind of shaped like a v top loop of the v back loop of the v we're going to insert the hook under this top loop of the v okay for a half double crochet you yarn over with a working yarn like so you can put your finger here so that it's easier to insert the hook okay and then insert the hook in the second chain under the top loop of the v like so again with the working yarn you yarn over and pull our loop like so and now you will see that you have three loops on the hook to finish the half double crochet you just yarn over with the working yarn like so and then pull that yarn over loop through all three loops on the hook here okay like so and that is the first half double crochet and on top of the half double crochet you will see a v shape Kind of like the chain and we are going to take another stitch marker and mark under that v to mark that first half double crochet okay then we're gonna have double crochet into each chain across so we just work in this chain we're gonna move to this next chain insert the hook under the top loop of this next chain again for a half double crochet yarn over insert the hook in the next chain with a working yarn bring our loop three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through and that is the second half double crochet another one into this next chain yarn over insert the hook bring our loop three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops another half double crochet in this next one yarn over insert the hook bring our loop three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops okay and let's repeat the exact same thing half double crochet into each stitch across all the way until we meet this marker and i will meet you right there to show you what to do next so you can see that I have one chain left before I reach this stitch marker I will work another half double crochet in there okay now we will need to move this stitch marker to the last half double crochet that we just did so you mark the V on top of this half double crochet okay like so that's how it should look like Okay, from this next chain, we are going to treble crochet into each chain. So into this next chain, for treble crochet, we're going to yarn over two times. So one and two, and put your finger here so that it's easier to control. Insert the hook in the next chain. And then with the working yarn, you're going to bring our loop like so. And you will see that we have four loops on the hook. Try to keep all the loops, all ball loops, close to the size of the hoop. So if it looks like this, then these loops are too much bigger. So you need to adjust it so that it looks nice and even, like so. Okay. And then yarn over, pull that loop through two loops on the hook, like so. You will see that now you have three loops on the hook. Again, yarn over, pull through two loops like so 
you see that you have two loops left. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the first treble crochet. Again, a treble crochet in this next chain, yarn over two times. Insert the hook in the next chain, like so. With the working yarn, bring our loop. With four loops on the hook, try to keep it close to the size of the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is the second treble crochet. So for a treble crochet, we yarn over two times, insert the hook, bring our loop, and then yarn over, pull through two loops three times. Again, yarn over two times, insert the hook, bring our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. All right, repeat the same thing into each chain, treble crochet, into each chain, all the way until the end of the chain and I'll meet you there to show you what to do next. You can see that I'm at the end of this chain and I have one chain left to work in. Let's do that. Yarn over two times, insert the hook, bring our loop. With four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And this is how it should look like. Now before moving on, I would recommend you to count the number of stitches you have on the first row. And it is best to count how many half double crochet stitches and how many treble crochet stitches you have. So we count from this first half double crochet that we did right here. One, two, three, four, five, all the way until this last half double crochet. And then count from this first treble crochet until this last treble crochet. And let's note it down. So then I will combine the number of half double crochet stitches and the number of um, treble crochet stitches to have the total number of stitches. And we're gonna keep this note to keep track of the number of stitches on the later rows to make sure that we have the same number of stitches from the beginning to the end. Before moving on to row two, you will see that we need to chain three. And remember, we don't want the chain loops to be too tight. That's why we need to keep the loop slightly bigger, like so, yarn over, pull through. And then again, slightly bigger, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Three chains, all right? Now, turn from the right to the left. You will see in the written pattern that we will work the first treble crochet into the second stitch and not this first stitch. That's because on top of this first treble crochet, we already have this chain three, and we're gonna count it as a stitch and treat it as a stitch. I will show you how to do that later, but right now we don't need to work another stitch into this first treble crochet. We're gonna work the first treble crochet into this second stitch and insert the hook under the V, like so, under two loops of the V, on top of this treble crochet. So like that, okay? For a treble crochet, yarn over two times, insert the hook in the second stitch under the V. With the working yarn, bring our loop. And remember to keep all the loops stay close to the size of the hook, okay? Then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. That's how it should look like. And then we're gonna treble crochet into each stitch across until we get to this marker. So into this next stitch, insert the hook under the V, yarn over two times, insert the hook, bring our loop, okay? 
with four loops on the hook, you want to rip pull through two loops, you want to rip pull through two loops, and you want to rip pull through two loops. All right, another one in this next stitch, you want to rip two times, insert the hook, bring our loop, you want to rip pull through two loops, you want to rip pull through two loops, and you want to rip pull through two loops. And then another one in this next stitch, and repeat the same thing until you get somewhere here and I will meet you there to show you what to do next. Okay, so you can see that I have two stitches left. This one and this one. Two V until we get to this mark stitch. So let's triple crochet into each of these two stitches. one and then another one in this last treble crochet now before working into this half double crochet stitch we're going to move this marker to the last treble crochet that we just did so mark the v on top of this treble crochet from now to the end of the row we're gonna half double crochet into each stitch okay so again insert the hook under the v on top of the next stitch this one Yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, like so. With the working yarn, bring our loop. With three loops on the hook, remember to keep the loops close to the size of the hook, okay? Yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. Now again, another half double crochet in this next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook, bring our loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert the hook, bring our loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops, okay? And repeat this same thing. Half double crochet into each stitch. And then I will meet you by the end of the row, all right? Here I am, I have two stitches left, this one and this last one that we mark. See? We're gonna half double crochet into this one, and then half double crochet into this marked stitch in the same place that we mark. Now, if you count the number of stitches on this row, including this chain 3 next to the first treble crochet, you should have the same number of stitches that you have on the first row. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way until the end and make sure that the number of stitches are the same. Now to finish this second row, we're gonna chain one and then turn the work. Unlike the chain three of the treble crochet, this chain one does not count as a stitch because it is too small and too short. That's why we're gonna put the first half double crochet into the first stitch. You can see this V on top of this first treble crochet. Make sure that you don't mistake it with this chain one, okay? So, for half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook in the first stitch, the V on top of the first half double crochet, like so. Bring our loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through. Okay, now move this stitch marker to the first half double crochet of this row that you just did. You will see that this V on top of this half double crochet lean to the right and that's why we need to mark it so that in the next row we won't forget to work in this V that lean to the right, right? And then we are going to half double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch across again and again all the way until we reach this stitch marker and I will meet you there to show you what to do next. So here you can see that I have three stitches left before I get to this marker and you will see that this last half double crochet look a little weird and the V is a little smaller than the others. Maybe it is, 
but that just happened when we switched the type of stitch. Nothing to worry about. As long as you still see the V on top of the stitch, it should be fine, okay? So half double crochet into each of these stitch until this last one. Put a half double crochet in there. And then before working into this stitch, we're gonna move this marker to the last half double crochet that you just did. So that in the next row, when you are working the treble crochet, you will know that you need to switch back to half double crochet when you get to this stitch, okay? Now, in this next stitch, we're gonna treble crochet in there. Yarn over two times, insert the hook, bring our loop with four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. All right, that's how it should look like. Now treble crochet into each stitch across, yarn over two times, insert the hook, bring our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, repeat the same thing treble crochet into each stitch across all the way until the end of this row and I will meet you somewhere here to show you how it's like alright so you can see that I have two stitches left this treble crochet and this chain three that we count as a stitch and because we count it as a stitch we're gonna need to work another treble crochet in there so first let's treble crochet into this stitch okay and then in this chain three you will see the chain next to this stitch that we just did first chain second chain and third chain so we're gonna insert the hook into this third chain like this okay take both loops of the chain like so for a treble crochet yarn over two time insert the hook in the third chain of the chain three with a working yarn bring our loop four loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops okay and that is how we work the last treble crochet into the chain three to finish this row, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And remember not to make the chain too tight. And then turn the work from the right to the left. And you will see that this row is the same as the second row. We're going to treble crochet into the second stitch, not the first stitch, okay? So skip this V and work in this second V, okay? Yarn over two times, insert the hook in the second stitch, bring our loop, like so. Keep the loops close to the side of the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops three times. Okay, and then treble crochet into each stitch across. Even though the pattern is pretty much the same, there's nothing new, but I will go with you one more time. So meet me right here before you switch to half double crochet, and we're gonna do it together. Okay, and before working into this mark, half double crochet, we're gonna move this marker to this last treble crochet that we just did. And it is there so that in the next row, when we get to this stitch, we know that we need to switch back to treble crochet, okay? So from here, half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook, bring our loop, like so, keep the loops close to the size of the hook, yarn over and pull through, okay? And then another one in the next stitch, and then each stitch across, all the way until the end of the row and I will meet you there to show you one more time how it's like. Alright, so I have two stitches left, this one and this mark stitch. I work one half double crochet in each of them. 
It's the last one in this same place that we mark. And don't remove the marker yet, okay? Chain one, turn the work, half double crochet into the first stitch, and then we move the marker to this first stitch, okay? To remind us in the next row that this is the last half double crochet. And then half double crochet into each stitch across, and you will see that the pattern is exactly the same. We're going to keep repeating the, the same thing all over again until the skirt fits. And I will show you how to determine when it is good enough to move on. But remember to count and check the number of stitches frequently just to make sure that you have the same number of stitches on every rows so that the shape of the skirt would be nice and even. We are going to put this last row and the first row together using single crochet. So we're gonna do this stitch by stitch. You can see here that I end up with the treble crochet for my last row, but maybe you end up by the half double crochet stitches and that's fine. It's actually the same. We're gonna do the same thing. Um, there's not much different, but if you feel uncomfortable, you can work one extra row to end up by the exact same place as I am right now. Now, we're going to turn the work like this. We're going to first pull this loop into this treble crochet of the first row, okay? This one. So you insert the hook on top of that treble crochet and pull this loop into this treble crochet like so and then we're gonna chain one like that turn the work now find the first treble crochet this one inside the hook and then the same thing the first treble crochet in there like so so you take both stitches together with a working yarn bring our loop with two loops on the hook, you yarn over and pull through. And that is the first single crochet. Now, we do the same thing into the next stitch. You insert the hook into this second treble crochet, like so. And together with the second treble crochet on the first row, so this one, with the working yarn, bring our loop when we're joining these two rows together with single crochet, make sure that the stitch, the single crochet stitches are not too tight. You can see that instead of having the loops on the hook very close to the size of the hook like this, I would like it to be slightly, slightly enlarged, like so. Okay, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's another single crochet. Repeat the same thing, insert the hook in the next stitch and make sure that you find the next stitch on the first row. We might mistake it because when we, you try to find a stitch on this row behind, we drag this, the previous single crochet to the right. So just make sure that you don't work another stitch in there. Alright? Into, insert the hook in the next stitch, like so. And then single crochet by yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay? And then this next one. And then this next one. Like so. And this one. And this one. Okay? And repeat the same thing into each stitch. Work single crochet two stitches together. Like so. And then when we get somewhere here, closer to this half double crochet, I will meet you there to show you how it's like, okay? Ok, 
Okay, so as you can see here, I have two treble crochet left on this row and also on the row behind, I have two treble crochet left and I will do the same thing, this stitch and this stitch, okay, the single crochet and, and the last treble crochet, this one, like so, and then into this, also this last one and single crochet, okay? You can remove this stitch marker. So into the half double crochet, we do the exact same thing, insert the hook in this stitch, and then this, the same stitch on the first row, and single crochet, and then the next one, and then this next one. So we do the exact same thing. I'll meet you by the end of the row to show you how it's like, okay? See, I have three stitches left on this row and also three stitches left on the row behind, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing, single crochet them together. And this last one in here and in here. Okay, remove the stitch marker. And then to secure, we're gonna make one last slip stitch. And I will take one loop from this side, like so, and then one loop that I can find here, like so, bring our loop. For a single crochet, we're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops, but for a slip stitch, we are going to bring this second loop through the first loop on the hook, like so. And then, tighten the slip stitch. You can see this slip stitch also have a V. We're gonna close that V or tighten the slip stitch by pulling on the working yarn and the loop on the hook. And you will see that the slip stitch got tightened up. Now to bind off, we're gonna chain one, like so and then cut, but leave it long enough till to weave in later, okay? Pull on this tail, tighten it up, and that's it. Okay, obviously this is gonna be the back of the skirt, so you want to pull it inside out. For the drawstring, we're just gonna make like a really long chain, long enough that we can lace it around the waistline of the skirt and also some extra for tidying. So again, we're gonna make a slip knot, like so, and then just yarn over and pull through for a really long chain. Once I feel like the chain is long enough, I will cut it, pull this loop out, and then just pull on the tail to tighten, okay? And we do the same thing on this one, make sure that it's tightened, and then we can cut close to the knot, but not too close, okay? Leave just a little bit so that it won't unravel by itself too easily like so now we're gonna lace this uh, string into the into this waistline you can do this by hand just determine where you want the lace to be and then put it in one of the space between the rows that you can see like that and then in and then out make sure that they are straight like so and then i'll do like two rows at a time right um so we can do this by hand like this but i like to use my plastic yarn needle it will be way faster 
So we put it into the needle and then just do the same thing like that. All the way around, okay? So we have one last thing to do and that is to weave this tail to weave these tails back into the piece properly and I will show you how to do it. Let's do this one, okay? You're gonna put the tail into the needle. And then the trick is to go up and down into the fabric and twist. Uh, with the stitches, if we just weave the tail in a straight line, it's going to unravel by itself easily. So what I like to do is to go in like so and then go out and then maybe to the side a little bit into the stitches. That's what you can do and twist with a stitch like so but make sure that you stretch the piece um, frequently while you're weaving this the tail to reposition the tail without bunching the fabric up and then okay Make sure that you stretch the piece and just like that you can cut really close to where it stick out. Stretch the piece again and that's it. And do exact same thing to the other tail, okay? 